he has uh, narrowed his list of potential Supreme Court nominees to five people, and he promised that that would be announced. The announcement will come Friday or Saturday. He made the announcement uh, earlier today on Fox and Friends, on the Fox News Channel. So I'm looking at five, probably four, but I'm looking at five very seriously. I'm going to make a decision on either Friday or Saturday. I will Mm -hmm. announce it either Friday or Saturday. And then the work begins. But hopefully it won't be too much work because these are very qualified people. And no matter how you would look at it, uh, these are, you know, the finest uh, people in the nation. Young Mm -hmm. people, pretty young for the most part. So we know that. We're going to find out who it is Friday or Saturday. Uh, I think it's likely to be Amy Coney Barrett or Barbara Lagoa. Uh, Judge uh, um, Amy, Amy Coney Barrett out of Indiana, Barbara Lagoa from Florida. They are said to uh, top the list. Barrett is 48. She's a judge with the Chicago-based U.S. Court of Appeals for the Seventh Circuit. She's a conservative pro-life Roman Catholic who clerked for Scalia. Lagoa has ex- has an extensive judicial record. She's only 52. She's from Miami. She was nominated by Jeb Bush to Florida's 3rd District Court of Appeals, where she served for more than a decade before being elevated to the state Supreme Court. Last year, Trump nominated her to the Atlanta-based U.S. Court of Appeals for the 11th Circuit. She's a member of the Federalist Society, She's backed by Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. Um, Some are worried about her ties to the Bushes. Uh, She's a Bushy, as they would say it. Um, I believe it's Amy Coney Barrett who is on record as saying that she she does believe Roe v. Wade is settled law and would not overturn. Now, who knows? You gotta take all of this with a grain of salt. But you have to remember just how flipping out the left is going. They can't believe that this has happened um, six weeks before the election. 